Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. And I don't have a project project for you today, but I have an introduction um, to you and to me because I have this box that I haven't opened yet and I want to show you what's in it. So it's called the Perennial Birthday Project Kit. And the reason why I've bought this box, and it's not on the table here because it's quite, <laughs> it's quite close to my camera, um, is because I got given the perennial birthday stamp set completely free at on stage in November. If I didn't speak to you about on stage or you've missed my blog that said about going to on stage, I actually came home with about five stamp sets from on stage, a punch set, um, a mug, a couple of bags and things like that. It's an amazing experience to go to. And um, I was just looking earlier, I've still got my tags from on stage. Um, oh, they're attached to my light. Hang on, let me just loop that off. There we go. So this is my tags um, that I got to wear and my little team badges. But this one here, um, you get a prize patrol. And if the prize patrol matches your number, you win whichever stamp sets on that prize patrol. And this was what I won. Um, so I thought, well, I'm definitely going to get the project kit because I have already got the stamps for it. And I have made this cute little card with it that I shared in the Stamping for All Facebook group um, last week. And on Tuesday of this week, I'm going to be doing a Tuesday time lapse and it's going to be making this card. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, but this was this stamp set and I just made my own DSP with it. So I loved it and I thought I'm going to get the box to go with it. If you want to have an experience going to on stage, the entries for on stage in the UK, it's going to be in Telford. That opens on Tuesday 16th. So if you want to go, you need to be a demonstrator, which is no problem. That's dead easy. You can. It's £99 to become a demonstrator. And you can join my team. There's all information on my blog. You get £130 worth of kit plus two free stamp sets. So it's a bit of a bargain. Um, and then you have to pay for on stage when you join. Um, I'm not sure how much that is, but it'll all be up on my blog on Tuesday. So if you wanted to and wanted to come to on stage, that option is always there for you. And you can get your free stamp sets. So this is the birthday project kit. I love this kit. I've seen the pictures of it. And I opened it. I did open it when I got it. Um, and I removed the cardboard out the top. But I haven't opened it properly yet. I'm going to open it with you. So it's this gorgeous box that just links like that. Okay. I'm just going to open it. I'm going to tell you everything that's in it. And you never know. I've got time. I'm not sure how, how I'm going for chatting. I might have a little... Um, that's one of those bead things. I'll throw those away. Um, I'm always worried my dog's going to get hold of them. So that's the box finished. I think it's worth it for that box alone. It is gorgeous. And it is a proper solid box. And I don't know. I might be. No, my stamp set doesn't fit in it. Boo. But it's okay. It can sit on top of my stamp set. You can't see I've balanced it on top of the side. So in the set, you get this. This is gold ribbon. And oh, it's silky gold ribbon. Oh, it's really beautiful. That's one of those that feels really soft, really soft. So that's quite nice. And the length is 2.1 meters. So you do get quite a decent, decent size of that ribbon. And that is Dapper Demon. I can't say that. I can try as much as I like to say denim. And now I said it right. I always finish it wrong. Demon. I, Dapper denim, I think that's right, um, twine. So that's quite handy to have, especially as I have just bought myself the Dapper denim ink. So in the pack, I'm gonna run through it and then I'll show you all of the different cards you can make. Let's get these out. Oh, look, there's little tags. They're cute. I didn't see those on the thing. They're sweet. Right. So in the pack, should we start with the biggest at the back, perhaps? 
shall we? So I know you've got these. So you've got one to 12 tabs like this that will fit just in the box. And what's great about them is 12, 12 months. They fit in the box. You can write whose birthday is in what date. And they're the right number. That's obviously the number for a leap year, and it's not a leap year this year, but we've got the 31, the 29 is an option, 31, 30. That works quite well. And then you can write on there whose birthday is on what day, and you can just put the card once you've made it, let me, let me grab my card I made, in the month. That's handy. Like that. Okay, so what we also have at the back is we have the punch-out tags that I saw when I opened it. So I'm not sure I can see that white on white, but it's a little tag with the hole already in. So you can make your tags. Those are punch-outs already done, so you just need to pop them out. They're really cute. And they're featuring that flower that's on the set, so that's going to be really handy. And they're pop-outs too. And they're foil with a dapper denim. Oh, I am getting the hang of saying this. Say it enough, you'll get it. So you can punch those out. And these are all of the months that you will need for these cards. So you can put them on. And they've got them in, let's see what my languages are like here. Definitely know that's English. So that's good. Janvier. Oh, that's French, isn't it, when it finishes in an RE? And I'm pretty sure with a Z in, October. I get that from Oktoberfest. That's German. See? Put me to a beer festival. I know it. <laughs> and then you've got the tassels for the balloons as well. I'm going to guess those are the inside for the flowers because they look about that sort of shape. So they're quite handy, all in gold. Very pretty. Then we've got envelopes. Always handy to have some envelopes. And they will match these, which I'm presuming are the cards. Yes. So here are the cards, and they're all coloured ready. So you've got these ones, and the flirty flamingo. They're old olive. Love. I just love this pattern. It's gorgeous. And then the foily ones as well. So they're quite nice. You can see all those at the top. We've got some pop-up or pop-out banners. That's in the denim colour. And this one here in the gold. That's quite handy. Some more pop-outs. Oh, look. That's got a space to actually stamp something on it. So you can stamp a greeting from your set. And there's lots of sentiments on the set. So... You could get all of these, wishing you the best on your special day. You could get birthday cheers all round. I'm not sure about here celebrating you. Let's have a look. Here's celebrating you. It's there. Well, you can. That'll fit. Just up there. You're probably just not going to get the happy birthday on here, but you'll get all of the all of the others on there. So they're really sweet. And these are minuscule. They are going to cause problems, I can tell you now, or they'll cause problems with me. They are just little punch-out lines like that. So let's have a look at the cards that they tell you to make in the kit. Uh, pictures all on this side. So, oh, look, that's not going to cause any problems. These little lines that look awkward, you don't need. You just need to punch those out so that you get the frame and there's the frame being used with the balloons and the balloon tails with a happy birthday. So that big happy birthday stamp there fits on those ones. Ah, uh -huh. and that one has these punch outs, which are these ones that are slightly shaped. And it looks like the stamp is slightly shaped, especially to fit those. So that's quite nice. And they've tied it with the twine again. I love that one. That card, you don't really have to put much on it. It's got the tag on it with the gold trim behind it, but it is just so pretty that you actually don't need to do anything with that card. It's just gorgeous. And then this one here is the foil card. 
and that's what's got the circle pop up on. But I suppose you don't have to, that's probably a good idea, you don't have to do, what is it for? You don't have to do four of this one and four of this one, you can mix and match the tops. So if you put this one onto this for instance, it would look gorgeous and you could have one card with each of those on. So you could then get 16 different cards rather than four, the same, four, the same, four, the same, and four, the same. So that'll work. That's quite a good kit. And I do like the fact it's in month order so that when you, you're you rushing around like mad to get a card, you can have them stored in here under the correct months. And not only that, this fits more than 16 cards. So all the cards that I'm currently making for my time lapses, they can all sit in there. And I don't have to worry about them at all because I can just... Oh, sorry my head pit, hit the camera, I can just punch them out when I want. So that's quite handy. I will put a picture up on my blog of the cards I do with them. Shall I do one now, quickly? Shall I do one now? Which one shall I do? I, I'm, I know which one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one, because I love it. So let me just, what do I need for it? I don't need those, all that. I need the stamp set, so let's keep that out. I need both the ribbon and the twine card base. I'm going to keep the envelope for out so I can store them all together. Um, it's none of those, none of those, it's that one. Aha, it is. I've spotted it. That's where those come in once you've stamped the flower. Oh, I've spotted it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> just about. I just about know what I'm doing. Just going to grab the occasions catalogue from the side wherever I have decided to throw it. I'm not going to grab the occasions catalogue apparently, I don't know where I've put it. That's annoying. I was going to see what colour that green is. I'm pretty sure that that is old olive. It looks like old olive to me. Do you tell me, are you old olive? Um, old olive it does tell me there you go who needs a catalogue when you've got an insert right so i need to punch one of these out or push one of these out that's simple that there we go just pop that out there then I need some of the ribbon. Shall I put that up there so you can all see what I'm making alongside me? Does that help? I don't think it's going to fold that way. It doesn't want to fold that way. You're going to fold. <laughs> there we go. Right. So the ribbon goes up to about there, doesn't it? And then back. So I need about that much worth of ribbon. Right. Okay. And then on this, I need, just looking, I need this one. And I need this one. That's right, isn't this that one yet? There it is. Okay, grab some blocks. It's a flirty flamingo, that's up there. And they've done it so the crossover bit is at the top, so they've done it that way. La la! Old olive, have I got another block? I have. And my old olive is over here. I removed that up to the top the other day, so I'll just have a stretch. I'm trying to hide all the greens and reds from me so I don't use them for projects because I'm just getting a bit fed up with them since Christmas. Oh, I've put my flower too far over. Well, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect-ish. Okay, so I want that. Just out you pop. If you're having trouble with these pop-ups like I am, this paper piercer is just pulling this straight off, so that's really handy oh it's adhesive that's so much better i don't have to worry about 
trying to fiddle and faff with glue. I like that idea. So there we go, straight over the top of that. And it's not 100% straight, but it kind of, it, it'll do. Happy birthday. Just that one. And they've done it in the dapper denim. I'm, I'm so getting on a roll now I'm thinking about this. So I told you I bought it new the other day. I haven't even opened it yet. Opening everything new for this video is quite, quite interesting. I love having new stuff. I'm like a little kid. There we go. Happy birthday. Love it. Have they looped that through? They have. Right, so we're going to loop it through. So I'm going to do just at the top there, I don't know if you can see, as I've punched it through it put, or pushed it through, it just took a bit of the background. So I'm just going to snip that off so it's nice and and flat. I don't want to ruin a gorgeous card with a little bit left on it. So let's tie that. Yes, isn't it pretty? This one's going to be my favourite card. I can already see me trying to organise swaps so that everybody just leaves me with this base. <laughs> Are lovely too, but this one's just gorgeous. Such a pretty set, really, really is. Okay, so you're going to go onto there, and so are you. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of fast fuse at the top there to try and stick my ribbon. Make sure I'm opening my card the right way. So pretty, Isn't that just so gorgeous. Right, so let's have you. And you're just going to go onto there, like that. Okay. And you're going to stick on there too. But what I'm going to do before I do... Oh, no, I'll cut, cut that pretty at the end. Okay. Just going to fuse that on the top. There we go. And they've cut up from this side. This is going to be that really nice ribbon that frays, you know, annoyingly. So you're just going to want to try and get it all. If you've got bigger snips than what I'm using, use your bigger snips and just go across in one and that'll be better. So there you go. There's your card. You can even put that stamp onto the envelope or stamp the back of the envelope. I'm loving the envelopes that have stamped these on the back. So that can go in, in my new card box for uh, January. No, I like the card, so I'm gonna give it myself. I'm an August baby, so I'm gonna put it in August. It's my card to me. <laughs> It'll cheer me up. There we go. Straight into August with the envelope ready. How simple is that? took seconds such a good kit have a look out for it in the occasions catalogue and I would tell you how much it was if my occasions catalogue hadn't just oh there it is can't see it for looking it's sat right on the desk behind me so it's over on which page is it mm -hmm. it's this way is it this way you watch it not be this way now I've edged my bets by going this way there it is and it's £24. So you only need to spend £11 more, which would be the stamp set. The stamp set's 20 and the project kit is £24. Put them both together. You can get a free celebration kit. How great's that? Okay, so the celebration stamp sets that you can get to go with it are the Amazing You or the Beautiful Peacock or the Epic Celebrations 
or the heartfelt blooms or the lots of lavender or because everybody's loving them at the moment the pandas how gorgeous are the pandas so yeah you could totally get those free if you bought the stamp set and the kit go out and check my blog all right thanks for joining me and i'll see you soon bye